Hey, what's up guys? This is Lovey. Welcome back to my channel. So over the weekends, I quitted my job after listening to Andre Tate. You know this kind of guy? He's just bad like me. But I'm gonna tell you the story. So watch this video till the end and know why I quitted my job. I was working a normal job, right? Let's say I work in a sandwich store. And I'm not shitting on the average guy who does average work. I'm yeah. not doing that at all. Any work is respectable and it's hard out here to make. I don't give a fucking carry garbage. It's hard to make money. As much as I would do my job to the best of my ability, I'd also be very, very understanding of the fact that my job doesn't give a fuck about me. They don't care about me. They never will. If they have to sack me or fire me to keep their business functioning, that's exactly what they're going to do and they're going to let me starve. After listening to Andre Tate. Good. So currently I'm living in Moscow, you know. Over the past few months, I've been in, uh, I was in Samara. Everything was great. Life was so cool, you know. Everything was wonderful. Wow, you know. So I've been... Um, listening to this guy for a period of time, Andrew Tate, you know, if you haven't listened to this guy, then know that you, there's something you are amazing. This guy is really amazing guy, you understand? If you want to listen to him, try to listen to him and get to know. I don't understand why people who are sad or depressed are so desperate to convince happy people like me that their life and their mindset is... You know, there are some good things you have to listen to and if you don't like it, you don't like it. But just listen to it. No one is forcing you. So, when I came back to Moscow, I've been looking for a job, you know. Apart from other things, I also have online job, you know. But I wanted to fill in my days so that I get a, I get a, um, I get a uh, um, offline job. So, I got a job in one school and uh, one center there. So. It was just good, you know, the reception was good, they, they promised me many things. So, this is always my principle. So, I worked the first week, I worked, it was good. So, I worked four days in that place and I told them, you promised, to, promised me many things. These guys were really, really, well, they were really happy to have me, you understand? You know, you will be happy to have me in your team. Yeah, that's what... I felt and it was like then I asked them what's what's the plan what do you have for me you understand what do you have for me because like then they said oh we are planning to do this you're planning to do this you're planning to do this and this is where the story started so there's sometimes you know when you get a job you, there's so many things you're gonna lose you understand you're gonna spend a lot of time working in this place you have so many perceptions. What am I going to achieve in this particular place? What am I going to get? How much money am I going to earn uh, in this particular place? How much time am I going to spend here? So after calculating all this, then you realize that if you find that the time, the time you spend working is not even enough to uh, to give you money that you can spend the whole week, then you get to know that that's not a good deal. So I quit it for many reasons. One, the first reason was I couldn't find something new, something challenging, something that will keep me moving, like something that will not be different from what I always do every day, you understand? I have my online job, I teach my students and, and, uh, and we communicate, but when I tried online offline job, it was more stressful, you understand? So. Um, why is it that online job is more interesting? So I spend time home, I spend time any place, I just open my, I just, I have a computer, so um, I just go out, sit in a place, have my classes, or just go in a cafe, have my classes, because some cafes are really cool, they have, the, uh, the environment is great and everything is fine there. So, having realized that, um, I spend a lot of time more than anything I'm doing. Then it's total shit. Oh man! What's up, bro? See, someone is here, bro. Hmm? Someone is here. You, you see? What's up, guys? This guy called you Bob Mali. <laughs> <laughs> eh? huh? I am Bob Mali from <laughs> Senegal. <laughs> yeah, you get to know this guy, man. He's really cool. The coolest in the house. Yeah? Yeah. So I was telling you, this is how we find job in Moscow. When you have a Russian employer, you know, they're always crazy. They want to keep you close so that they can just monitor you, they see what you're doing, and they just want to see, like, they just want to keep you, you understand? And they use you as a substitute. So the more you stay around, the more you feel desperate that you want to get a job, they will just use you, you understand? 
So imagine you spend three hours in a day and you don't get my anything cool from it. So I decided to quit this job. It was not challenging. Then another reason why I started to I was not feeling free the way I used to be before. You understand? So that's why I decided to to um to quit this job because I had a lot of freedom. You understand? Uh, if I can if you take away all my time then I don't have anything left for me and something I need to enjoy then I can't be working for someone and another thing is working for people is really difficult that's what I've realized because people want to set standards okay they say standards but the standard they set is not uh, what you earn from the standard they set you understand so uh, working for people is kind of it's good to work with people that's the best thing but to work for people is that uh, you don't get 100% of the uh, 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 of what you want you understand and in in this is you have nothing to dictate you understand so they try to give you all the they have tried to dictate many things so they do this do this do this you have to follow our okay if you follow all these how much they gonna pay you and there's always chances that they're gonna fire you anytime they find they find a replacement their guy is around so they're gonna fire you 